In this video, I'm going to show you how to install WordPress from scratch on a brand new domain. To follow along, you'll need to create an account with a domain registrar and have a hosting account ready. I'll start by purchasing a domain and an SSL certificate, then adding the domain to a hosting account and finally installing WordPress. So let's get this website up and running in just a few simple steps. So now I'm inside my Namecheap dashboard. Under the products column, I can see that I have an active domain and I have a Stellar hosting account. Hosting is a service that allows your website to be stored on a server, making it accessible to people on the internet. It's like renting space on the internet where your website lives so others can visit it anytime. Namecheap Stellar shared hosting lets multiple websites share server resources making it a budget-friendly option for small sites. Now I'm going to search for a domain name that I previously have in mind. So this domain name is WP Chat Solutions. And as you can see, I have WPChatSolutions.com available for $10.28. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase this domain. I'm going to add this domain to the cart. And it has been added. And now I'm going to view cart. Okay, so let's review the information on this section. In first instance, domain registration is set for one year at $10.46. If I want it, I can select two years. It's going to change the cost, $20.92, or three years, $38.78, and so on. I can go up to 10 years with this registrar and that will be $137.90. I have seen cases where you can purchase a domain for life and you don't have to continue paying for it. But in this case, with this registrar is up to 10 years. So I'm just gonna leave it at one year for now. Domain privacy is free forever and premium DNS, I am not going to enable it, but I could also enable it. That will cost me uh, $4.88. I'm just gonna go ahead and disable it. And if I wanted to see or know or learn what premium DNS is, I only have to touch here. It says, what is the benefit? And it tells me exactly what premium DNS is. Basically, DNS translates domain names into IP addresses, helping users find websites online. So I'm not gonna go with this option. And as I continue scrolling down, I have Stellar Web Hosting, but I already have a Stellar Web Hosting account, so I'm not gonna choose that. And it says, improve your site. So it has other things here I can add. First one is web hosting. I'm not gonna go for it. Business email, not gonna go for it either. SEO manager, I'm not gonna go for that one either, but I am gonna go for SSL. So say site security made simple, secure your new domain with an SSL certificate. And I can learn more by going to the link that it displays there. And basically it's telling me that HTTPS, secure your site and boost your SEO. So without HTTPS, I will have a padlock open on the top of the URL, but with HTTPS, the padlock will be closed. Basically, SSL is a security technology that encrypts data between a website and its visitors, ensuring privacy. So as you can see here, this website does have an SSL certificate, it says HTTPS and the padlock on the upper left corner of the URL is actually closed. So back to my cart, I am going to add this SSL certificate and now I'm gonna to have to pay $16.45. Okay, here I'm not gonna add a VPN, I'm not gonna go with premium DNS or WordPress hosting. I'm not gonna go with none of this. So I'm ready to confirm my order. So now I can review my order for $16.45. I can see that the domain registration is $10.28 plus 18 cents tax, free domain, uh, privacy, 
and positive SSL for $5.99. That totals $16.45. So I'm going to go ahead and pay that with PayPal. It's going to take me to PayPal. And from here, I can just go ahead and continue to review order. And it says that we are processing your order, payment authorized, and this domain is now mine. It says your order, and it gives me an order number and a date is completed. What I'm going to do is go back to my dashboard, and the new domain should appear on the products. And fair enough, I'm inside my dashboard and under products, I can now see WPShatSolutions.com. So that is my new domain. So what I'm going to do is to add this domain to my shared hosting account. So I'm just going to hit manage and it's going to actually automatically take me to the domain list. And from here in the name servers row, I will just select Namesheep Web Hosting DNS. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to hit this check mark to save it. And I have now added this new domain to my shared hosting account. Okay, so I still have a few steps to follow before I have this website completely up and running. And if I wanted to check the website in a web browser, I can just easily type here WP Chat Solutions. And as you can see, this website is really not up and running yet. The domain is mine. And first of all, it's not secure because I have not yet installed the SSL certificate. So that is why it's saying that this is not a secure website and as you can see it doesn't really have anything it's just uh, I would say a blank page but that all is going to change in a couple of minutes I first need to install my SSL certificate so I'm back to my thank you for your purchase page and I'm going to hit the manage button that is beside positive SSL so this is going to take me to install the SSL certificate and this message is telling me that I need to activate the SSL. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit activate. Okay, so upon further investigation, I had no need to purchase the SSL certificate. Rather, I could have activated the certificate inside my shared hosting account for free for one year. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. From my main dashboard, I'm going to go to my cPanel. And once inside my cPanel, I'm going to look for domains. So from here, I'm just going to go ahead and create a new domain. And I'm going to type WP Chat Solutions here. I'm just going to remove this from here. So WP Chat Solutions.com. And I'm just going to go ahead and submit. And as you can see, WP Chat Solutions has been added. I'm now back to my cPanel, so I'm gonna just come here to Namesheep SSL. And I'm gonna sign in with Namesheep. Now I'm gonna check here on the install via Namesheep SSL. So here is a list of domains that I have purchased previously. And as you can see, the last one I've purchased is WP Chat Solutions and the SSL certificate, positive SSL is active right now. So what I'm gonna do is right click on the domain, open in a new tab, and let's check here, WP Chat Solutions and is secured. So it's good to go now. So the next step is to install WordPress on this domain that's going to be the next step i'm going to install wordpress on this domain so i'm going to go back to my cpanel here and i'm just going to try to install wordpress so i'm going to go down by wordpress manager by substaculous from here i'm going to go to install and i'm going to choose the correct domain which is wp chat solutions and I'm just going to leave all this information as is. Let me just go ahead and change this here. Admin username. I'm just going to put admin. Just going to go ahead and copy this password. I'm obviously going to change that later. And when I'm ready, I'm just going to go ahead and hit install. And it's installing now. 
and as you can see I'm just refreshing the page here it's doing its thing and it's almost done so it's finished and as you can see it says congratulations the software was installed successfully WordPress has been successfully installed at wpchatsolutions.com so I can also log in to this uh, URL wpshotsolutions.com forward slash wp hyphen admin that is where I will enter the user and the password I'm just gonna go ahead and click here to open up the website and here you go it looks uh, still looks pretty blank but that's the theme that has been installed I can actually log in with the credentials that I had uh, gotten earlier so let me just go ahead and do that I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna log in I'm now in my dashboard and I can go down to appearance and I can just change the theme this is the active theme that I have is extendable if I wanted I could just go ahead and install this 24 team I'm going to activate it here and it's active now I'm just going to refresh my website and it should have a better look so it just looks completely different so I can go back to my uh, dashboard and just again hit activate here and if I refresh the page here so it actually works my website is completely up and running I'm gonna log out of the dashboard and that's it so as you can see this is a way to install uh, WordPress on a website from scratch what we did on this video was to purchase a domain uh, purchase an SSL certificate which uh, we end up uh, not having to need in that moment uh, the certificate was installed we double check that and now I have installed WordPress and my WordPress site is up and running